Hey, good evening, Rafa. How's it going? Everything good? Good evening, teacher. I already sent you a message in the WhatsApp group. I, I couldn't turn off the camera right now because I'm on, I'm on my way home. Oh, okay, right. I'm sorry. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead. That's all right. That's fine. Hey, Monica. Good evening. What's happened here? Good evening. What, what do you mean, what's happening? <laughs> All good? <laughs> I don't know if it's your internet or your camera is better. Are you using a different camera or another device or anything? No, it's the same. The same. Oh, your, the quality looks better. <laughs> okay. All I don't right. know why, but it's the same. More filters now, huh? Nah. <laughs> it doesn't have <laughs> no filters okay okay we are waiting to the other class i am waiting for hold on yes we're waiting for other classmates yes okay so anyway so well, how was your day what's uh, all the same same Thank old, you. same old, busy. Uh, what about you? Same old, same old, super busy. <laughs> super busy. Do you have uh, other classes? Yeah, I have a full time job. I have. Where? Uh, I work at Telus. I teach at Telus. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, I'm an English. I teach at Telus. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. You know Telus, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So yeah. So I uh, basically I'm a, I teach I be pretty much the same, you know. I teach English. <laughs> like here. I reinforce like, their English, yes. It's like um, Sykes Academy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, they have a, a, a space like that. Yes, yes, exactly. Okay. So we we reinforce like. Um, know that their their english like for i mean we reinforce english for people who already work in there and but it's so that, but, but, but oh, God, i'm sorry it is, it is is it new in the company or not no 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 um it's not new it's not something new no, no. okay that's good yeah no it's it's good you know it's uh i like it I really like it. All right, very good. Uh, Rafa, nice to see you, Rafa. Rafa Garcia. What's Hello, going baby. on? What's going on, Rafa? How was your day? So tired. Tired? To, yeah, they asked me to do something about uh, a resume for all year. Uh, you mean a summary? A summary for for some one problem we have for all year. So one problem that you've had all year. Yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, that that must have been tiring. All right. Um. Anyways, guys, glad you're here. All right, guys, let's get started. So we're gonna continue, guys, with 
phrase of verbs. But today we're going to talk about the rules, okay? We have five different rules, guys, for phrasal verbs. And we also have, you know, some exercises. So that's what we're going to go over uh, today, guys, okay? All right. Um, so let me see. Let me let me know, guys, if you see the presentation, okay? All right, can we see it? Yes, right, very good, guys. So, yes. all right, guys, so let's talk about the rules of phrasal verbs, okay? So we know what a phrasal verb is, right? Well, what it was, uh, so let's see what we saw yesterday. Let's, uh, what's a phrasal verb, guys? First of all, it's also in front of you, okay? If you don't remember. <clears throat> Uh, Monica, I think you're talking, but you're muted. Okay. Dice, this combination of words for uh, a single unit of vocabulary expression, uh -huh. which gives a new meaning. Let us take this sentence as examples for compara. Com for comparison? Comparison. Yes, for comparison. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, guys. So, anyways, okay, so it's a combination, right? Um, it's a combination of two elements, right? The verb and a particle. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Okay. So um the original verb guide gets, for example, right, means to obtain something, but when you put it together with another particle, the meaning changes, okay. And we already know that because that's what we saw yesterday. Okay, so that's basically the gist of it. All right, those are the rules of phrasal verbs. Okay, so we have guys. Okay, first example we have. We call this intransitive phrasal verbs. Okay. All right. So more than the meaning, guys. All right. You have to know that intransible phrasal verbs. We call them like that because they are. They are what. Inseparable. They are inseparable. Very good. And why are they inseparable? They don't need uh, an object. They don't need an object. Then what is the object? What, what could be an object? Mm -hmm. Well, what is the uh, what is Maybe an object? Chayanne. Like Maybe what? I'm Chayanne. Sorry. Chayanne no. is an object, right? Okay. <laughs> all right. Dua uh, Lupe. All right, Dua Lupe. Okay, Dua Lupe, right? All right, those are all right. Those are objects, right? So basically, guys, right? If you say I, okay. So if I say, guys, I like music. Okay, music is the the object of the sentence, right? So you have the subject and the object, right? All right, so. Anyways, okay, so you cannot separate them, okay? And this is what, what I was talking about uh, yesterday, okay? Um, can somebody please help me read the first example and we're gonna analyze it together. The Smith family always comes back to this place every year. Right, the Smith family also always comes back to this place every year, right? Very good, okay. Super good job. All right, so, um, all right, so comes back, guys. Okay, why uh, can we say, guys, the Smith, uh, the, the Combs family always back to this place every year? Can we say that? No. All right, here's the thing, okay, what about he comes back, right? He comes back, uh, Cheyenne, right? Now here, guys, okay, this is the reason why, okay? If you say, guys, if you have this phrase right here, okay, where is the subject? Where do you have the subject? We know where you have the subject, guys. So where do you see it? The subject is here, right? This is the subject. And where's the object of the sentence? Cheyenne, okay? Okay, so this is the object, right? Remember that an, that an object and a subject, guys, they can be both nouns, right? Or they can be 
pronoun. Pronouns, okay? So they can be either nouns or pronouns. Now, here's what ha what's happening with, here's what's happening with uh, Chayanne and, and he, okay? All right, so he, all right, when we say comes back as, okay, comes back already works as the object, okay? I, I mean, it's not the object guys, but put it like that so you can understand it, okay? All right, so therefore guys, okay, having another object doesn't make sense, okay? He comes back, does not need an object, okay? So we don't need this. And that's the reason why guys, they cannot be separated, okay? And by separated, it means, you know, like get him up or actually, no, not like that, okay? Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. All right, like this, all right? So if guys, okay, if you have, uh, let's go with the, the same example, right? He comes back, okay? Here guys, if you use it guys, at the end of the sentence, okay, pretend that this works as the object and this would be the subject, right? And therefore guys, you cannot have another object, got it? You cannot, okay, so, Right, so you cannot have another object, okay? It's forbidden, right? Let's look in through your <laughs> couple's cell phone, okay? Forbidden. All right, got it? All right, very good, okay? So that's rule number one, guys, okay? Uh, let's take a look at example number two, Rafael Garcia. Go ahead. My father wakes up very early. Very good, guys, okay? Do we have another object, guys, after wakes up? No, okay. All right. So if, you know, we end with the phrase of verb together, uh, I mean, if we end with the phrase of verb, no object, guys. So again, guys, you end with the phrase of verb, you don't need an object, okay? You cannot separate it. So that's the reason why you can't say, my father, you know, wakes very early, early up. No, because very early is not an object, okay? But can we say this, guys? All right. Uh, wake him up. Can we say this? Wake him up? Yes, we can. All right. Can we say wake up him? No, we cannot. Why? Because... This verb right here, guys, this phrase of verb right here, remember, right? This is working as an object. So there is another object here. We need something else, guys. We need another, we need another uh, element here, okay? All right, and in all honesty, guys, okay, um, you're gonna, you're gonna find, guys, the, you know, you're gonna find the, the sense by, by just practicing, right? All right, I'll give you more examples, guys, okay? But you have to understand these two, okay? So, uh, Nuri, right? Let's read what we know about being separable or inseparable, okay? Go ahead. Okay. Hmm. Things transitive, phrase or verb, take objects. Yes. It is possible for some, some of this to be separate put together. Let's check the following sentence. Okay. So, all right, guys. So, um, all right. So let's take a look at the first sentence, guys. Um, this right here. Okay. Let's see, Alberto, all right. Let's read it and try to uh, tell me if we, why we can or we cannot separate gave away. Maybe because it's the structure that is mandatory. All right. And also because we cannot say like, give his money away to Saturday because the meaning is going to be different what we are going to be like trying to transmit maybe. Okay. 
All right, that's like saying kind of like just just because, right? All right, I'll give you an example, guys. Uh, when we talk about Chuck Fe Fe uh, Feeney gave away his money, right? So you can say, guys. All right. So let's say, all right, let's not say Chuck Feeney. Give me a name, guys, right? Give me someone you really like. Give me a name, right? It could be... Right. Shakira. Yeah, I thought that we were going to say Cheyenne again, All right? Shakira. <laughs> Shakira, right? So Shakira. Monica, you were going to say Cheyenne, right? Uh, all right, so we got Shakira, guys. Okay. So Shakira, guys, we know she is the subject, right? So we have Shakira. What, what does Shakira like, guys? Dance. Okay, right. So let's see. Shakira likes. Right. Shakira likes. Okay. Dance, guys. Is that that's how we say it? dance? She likes dance. To dance. She likes. All right. To dance, right? Whatever, right? To dance, or she likes, you know, dancing, right? Shakira likes to dance. Okay. All right. So here, guys, remember the subject is you know, whoever or whatever performs the action, okay? And the object is the noun or the pronoun that receives the action of the verb. Got it? So you got, you got, you know, you got the center. Okay, and all right, hold on. All right, so you got the sender. All right, and you have the object. And why is it an object? Because it is a noun, right, or pronoun. And this is the receiver, okay? All right, got it? So you got the sender and you got the receiver. So far, so good? Todo bien hasta ahora, guys? Okay, all right. Now, why is it important for me to explain like that, guys? Because because of this, okay? So we were talking about, right? We were talking about, let's go about Shakira, right? Shakira, and then we're gonna change the verb, okay? We're gonna uh, use gave away. Gave away, all right. Now, notice guys, that this is, okay. Oh, I forgot something, I forgot something, okay? This, what is this guys, okay? So if this guys, okay, if this is a subject and this is an object, this is a? A verb, right? You need an action. Got it? All right. So we got the subject. And then, guys, gave away, right? We're expecting something, okay? So these guys, you can put it as, you can take, okay? Let's pretend, guys, that this is like, how do you call this? La usurpadora, right? She's going to take away your 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 husband and your girl and your boyfriend, right? Perhaps your girlfriend, too, okay? So, Give away, guys, is taking the place of what? Give away, guys, is usurping what, guys? ¿Qué está usurpando give away here? The place of what? ¿El lugar de qué? The verb. All right, it's taking the place of the verb, right? Very good. So what do we need after a verb? If, if guys, the phrase of verb is usurping the place of a verb, all right, what do we need? object very good compliment. you need another no, very good you need another another boyfriend right or husband or wife right you need an object okay or just volado right an object right very good so you need the object right so give away and we need something else here give away what give me something oh money her. no 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 all right let's 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 continue with this husband and and wife thing okay all right her husband. Okay. All right, her husband. Okay. So, okay. Very good. So her husband. Okay. Now, what is the object of the sentence here, guys? You got her it. Her husband. It is her husband. Okay. Okay. This is the object. Okay. Very good. So far, so good. All right. Very good. Okay. So let's practice before we move on to the next part of this. Okay. All right, so I'll give you, okay, I'll give you some verbs, guys. All right. 
I, I'll give you some verbs that you can separate, okay? Uh, let me type them in here, okay? Okay, um, get up, okay? You tell me if you can play with them, okay? Get up, um, wake up. What about... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, hold on. Okay, um, put away. All right, so let's go with put away. All right. What about throw away? All right. So do me a favor, guys, and let's use it like this, okay? I want you to use it over, like a verb. And tell me, all right? Make sure that you can use them as verbs, okay? Because some of them are not, you're, you're not going to be able to, okay? So, um, so, all right. So, can I say, guys, Shakira, Shakira, um, get up her husband? Can I say that, guys? Yeah. Shakira, get up her husband? Oh, okay. Can I say, uh, Shakira, uh, Shakira um, wakes up her, her husband? Would that be possible? Yes, no. Shakira wakes up her husband. In Spanish, yes, but in English, no. Not in English? Are you sure? Yeah, guys, yes, okay. Wake up is one of them, okay? So, wake up, yes, it's a yes, okay? Right, what about put away? Can you say Shakira uh, puts away her husband? Yes, we can, right? All right, yes, we can, all right. What about throw away? Can I say Shakira throws away her husband? Yes, we can, guys, okay? All right, now, the, the funny part about this, guys, is that you can use them in both ways, okay? So again, guys, if you know, if it takes the place of a verb, guys, okay, you're gonna need an object, okay? Got it? All right, you're always gonna need an object, but these verbs, guys, okay, can also be used uh, be used with uh, with the object in between, okay? So, for example, you can say, or let me see if I have more space here, okay? So, you can say, guys, can I erase this, guys? Can you take a screenshot, please, and just send it to the group? We're good all right very good guys so i'm gonna i'm gonna erase a couple of things here okay so you can say guys you can say this okay send the receiver blah 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 blah, blah. all right so you can say okay shakira shakira throws her husband all right, husband away, right? So what is the position here, guys? What, what happened here? So these verbs, guys, these verbs that you have to learn, okay? Let's let's follow the position here, okay? What is your cure, guys? We said that that's a subject, okay? Now, notice, guys, that if a verb, okay, can use that an object, if a verb can use an object, guys, if, if a phrase of verb can use an object, at the end, you can separate them, okay? So you got throw away, okay? This is the phrasal verb right here, okay? Phrasal verb, okay? And what was this, guys? This was the previous object, right? So guys, these verbs, guys, and you have to memorize them, okay? These verbs can be used, guys, in both ways, and they make sense, okay? 
and that's a that's the reason how you use it all right that's uh that's that's uh the way you have to use it okay all right now um let's go back here guys all right so take a look at the example that we got here um Rafael Mayen. All right, let's read the, 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 the well, actually, let's read the three examples. Uh, Charlie Feeney gave away his money to charity. Very good. Chuck, Chuck Feeney gave away Chuck his Feeney. money to charity. Mm -hmm. Chuck okay. Feeney gave his, gave, gave his money away to charity. Charity. Okay, very good. Chuck, Chuck Feeney gave it, gave it away to charity. Okay, all right. Chuck Feeney gave away his money to charity. Gave, gave Feeney gave his money away to charity, okay? So, guys, with transitive phrasal verbs, we can use them in both positions, okay? All right. So, uh, that's basically the, okay, rule number two, guys, okay? You can, with transitive verbs, transitive, guys, I don't know if you know what transitive verbs are, but or transitive phrasal verbs, but basically transitive means, guys, that, it has an object at the end, okay? So you have subject, verb, object, okay? So you can use the use it with an object, okay? In transitive phrasal verbs, guys, it's only, you know, the subject and the phrasal verb, okay? Anyways, all right, so that's basically the rule behind it, okay? For example, guys, okay, um, let's read this example right here, see? Alberto. Go ahead. Call off to cancel an event or meeting. First one, the manager called off the meeting. Second one, the manager called the meeting off. Third, the manager called it off. Very good, okay? So see guys, you can put the object in the middle, okay? All right, and remember guys, it means to cancel or uh, to cancel an event or a meeting, an event or a meeting, right? Put on, guys. So what's the meaning of put on? Um, put on is to wear, right? So again, guys, we can use it like this, or we can put the object in the middle, okay? All right, so do me a favor, guys. I want everybody, guys, to use these, exam these phrasal verbs that we got here, okay? And I want you to give me one example, guys, with, okay, with the, uh, the object at the end with the object that is in the middle and with a, with a pronoun in the middle, okay? All right, so what you're gonna do this, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do guys is this, okay? You're gonna say, I know my dad, right? Uh, called off the, the wedding, okay? All right, cancelo la boda, right? Or you can say, right, example number two would be my dad called the wedding off, okay? Do, you do not need to use it in present form, guys. You can use it in past, okay? Or you can say, my dad called, called it off. Got it? Now, one thing that you can never do, guys, is this. Called off it. Got it? That This is not possible. Guys, you can never use a pronoun, which is with, with an intransitive phrasal verb, okay? With a transitive phrasal verb, all right? So, uh, so in this case, that would only be called it off. Okay, very good, guys. Come up with your own examples, guys. I want three of them. All right, I'll give you ten minutes so you can work on that. Okay, let's go. Should you have any questions? Let me know. I'll be here. Oh, I was talking on mute. Sorry, guys. 
yeah i see some faces guys like if you have like you have questions okay if you do have questions guys please let me know All right, so um, let me know if you finish, guys. Nuri, do you have a question, Nuri? That's okay, you can ask. I don't got it, teacher. The what? <laughs> got it. You got it? No. No, you didn't get it? Okay, all right, that's fine, okay? All right. If you don't get it, guys, okay, let me know. That's fine, okay? All right, nothing wrong with it. Okay, so guys, okay, so what I'm saying, guys, all right, Nuri, in this sentence, where do you have the phrasal verb? Call it, call it off. No, no, call it off. Call it off. Okay, what is this? What is this in grammar? The manager. Uh, the, the subject. Very good. And what is this? The object. Very good. Okay. And the phrase of verb is in between what? Between the subject and the object. Exactly. Right. So what about this? Okay. So you got the subject. All right. Now, where is the, the object? The meeting. Yeah, where, but where? But like in the middle of what? Where? In the middle of? And in the middle of phrasal verb. Exactly. That's all I want you to do. All these verbs, I want you to give me your own example, right? And you put it like, okay, you put it in the middle of this object of the subject. Okay, right. Let me give you some visualization here, okay? So you can put it in the middle of the subject and the object, or you can put the object right in the middle of the phrasal verb or you can use a pronoun in the middle of a phrasal verb got it that's all i want you to do okay all right so see take a look at the position right so you can put it like this okay all right subject position one two three okay in this case it, it is one three three two got it or over here one all right, two, I mean, not three guys, sorry. Oh, my bad, okay, one, two, three, two, right? And over here, one, two, two, one. Again, right, I mean two, I mean three, what the hell, <laughs> right? Teacher, right. can Tell I me. say David to do a loop away? Da David, David what? Through? <laughs> Through the loop away. Yes, that you can. Yeah, you cannot say that because I would never do that. <laughs> no, but that is correct. Okay, the, the, correct. the example is correct. The example is incorrect, okay. but the idea is bad. Okay. Uh, but no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, very good. Uh, okay, Nuri, all right? Okay. A little bit better now? 
<laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, all right. So, what, what, I want, what I want you to do, guys, is just give me your own examples, right? Instead of the manager, say something else, guys. Oh, instead of the manager, what can I say? Okay, let's go with, you know, I'm, I'm not very creative, guys, so I'm just going to say Dua Lupe, right? Whatever. I always say that. Dua Lupe, you know, called off the wedding, you know, and I want to add more information, right? With uh, her current boyfriend, right? Oh. Because he likes David better, right? So you can go, over, go mm -hmm. like that, right? So that's what you can do, guys, okay? All right, very good. So guys, uh, how are we doing, okay? Did we finish? <laughs> Not yet, right? Uh, Rafael, Alberto, Rafael Mayen, did we finish? Yes, I think I do. <laughs> I, I, think, I think I did, right? Because that's... Yeah. I think I did. All right, so Rafa, tell me. So what do you have? Okay, the, um, and call off. I call off my subscription. I call off my subscription, right? All right, I called off, not call off. Call off is in I called off. I called off my subscription. Very good. Okay, good job. Give me an example with put on. Um, my daughter put on a scarf. My daughter put on a scarf. Put, put on a scarf. Okay. okay. And the other way? Um, we put put we put on or we we fill no, it out. We, we put on. Okay. Uh, she put she puts a scarf on. She puts a scarf on. A scarf on. Very good. Okay. Uh, and the third example on that. My daughter puts a scarf on. Mm, okay. Remember the example number. Okay. The example number three, guys, is with a pronoun in the middle. Okay. With the pronoun. Okay. Yes. So, what is the pronoun for it? For uh, the scarf, for example. Okay. Um, help me out, teacher. Like uh, scarf. Uh, I mean, if you wanted to replace, you know, scarf for it. What's okay? What All right. Put? I mean, I mean, I gave you the answer. What if you wanted to? To change the scarf for a pronoun, that would be it, right? Mm -hmm. Puts it on, okay? My daughter puts it on, right? Puts it on, okay. But it has to okay, be an okay. object, an object, okay? It has to be, guys, okay. an object pronoun, okay? Very good. I right, okay. thank you. Uh, Rafael Garcia, what do you have? What do you have for fill out? Fill out, uh, fill out the survey, sur survey before left. Okay, fill out the survey before the survey before leaving okay leaving okay. very good okay before leaving okay very good uh all right and what else what about number two fill the survey out before leaving very good okay and number three fill it out before leaving very good okay what do you have for number number one uh, alberto I mean, number number two, put on. Okay, let's just put on. Okay, I put on a tie. We can put the sweater on since it is cold outside. Mm -hmm. And she put it on for Christmas. Okay, she put it on for Christmas. Okay. All right, Monica, all right, what do you have for what, any of them? Give me either call off, put on, or fill out. Whatever. Okay. I fill the exam out today. I no. fill the exam out today. Okay. That's what else? Uh, another. Uh, yeah, you can say I I I I, uh, I filled out the exam today. Yeah, you can say that. She should she should put on a dress for Christmas. Okay, she should put on a dress. Okay, what else? She should. Put it on. She should put it on. Okay. Very good. Perfect example, guys. Perfect examples. Okay. Good job. All right. Very good, guys. All right. Are we good, guys? So far, so good? All good. No questions. Okay. Right. Let's move on then. Okay. All right. See, guys, that's another phrasal verb. Okay. Let's move on. All right. Which means continue, right? Continue, guys. Okay, so move on, guys. Is continue, right? 
So anyways, uh, okay. Uh, now these guys, these phrasal verbs, the ones that we have here, they cannot be separated, okay? So you cannot say guys, for example, go him, all right, you cannot say go him over. You cannot say look him after. You cannot say ran him into. All right, no, okay? These phrasal of verbs, guys, these phrasal of verbs cannot be separated, okay? They are like your grandparents, okay? Inseparable, right? They're gonna live and die together, guys, okay? All right, so, uh, so let's see, uh, Alberto, okay? So let's, uh, let's read the example number one, right? Okay, students go over their answers before submitting their, their examination sheets. Sheets. Go over review. Sheets. sheets, right, sheets, very good, okay? So go over, guys, okay, they go over, guys, I want you guys to learn phrasal verbs because that, if you ever, guys, look for a job in which you have to speak English, they love phrasal verbs, okay? That makes you sound very native-like, okay? So uh, learn phrasal verbs, okay? So go over, guys, this review, okay? Instead of saying, let's review the, let's review this topic, right? Let's, let's uh, review this topic. You can say, let's, let's go over this topic, okay? All right. And, and, and guys, there is another way you can understand this, okay? A little bit better, okay? So remember, guys, the manager, um hold on uh, let's go let's go back here okay all right so um so over here guys okay we again guys have have the subject right now right so we have the phrase of verb and then guys the answers before blah blah okay so the their answers guys is what this is the object right so with these phrasal verbs, you cannot use these guys. You cannot put the object, all right, in the middle of the phrasal verb, okay? You cannot, okay? So you cannot say, guys, you cannot say, for example, students, uh, students go their answers over, okay? This is not possible with these phrasal verbs, guys, okay? All right, very good. Sounds good, guys? Awesome, okay, very good. All right, so uh, so the same the same goes for everything else, guys, okay? Uh, Santos, hello, Santos, welcome back. Uh, help me read example number two. Parents look after their children. Okay, take all right and look after you guys means take, take care, care of. of exactly right. So again, guys, look after you cannot say parents, their children look uh, I mean parent look uh their children after, okay? It is not possible. All right. All right, run into guys. What is the meaning of run into? Meet by chance. All right. Guys, run into is like when you Cuando encontrás a alguien en la calle, right? Que te lo encontrás así de, de, de sorpresa, right? Got it? That is running into, guys, okay? All right, so the same applies for everything else, right? So do me a favor, guys. Uh, I want you to take, uh, just write down these uh, phrasal verbs, okay? Go over, take care of, meet my chance, take after, uh, get over Take after, guys, is a cool one, okay? Because how do you say, you know, te parece a tu papá? How do you say that? You are too busy in a pot? Well, yes, you can say that, right? That would be that would be an idiom, right? Yes. But, okay, but you can say, guys, take after. You take after your dad, okay? You take after your mom, okay? All right, very good. Give me a give me an example, uh, Rafael, real quick. Okay, give me an example with take after. Go. My son takes after me. 
my son takes after me. Good job, okay? Rafael Garcia, give me another one. Remember that these, these phrasal verbs always need an object, guys. Always need an object, okay? All right, so go ahead, Rafael. I take after my mother. Very good. I take after my mother. Very good. Uh, Roberto Marin. My sister takes after my mother. My sister takes after my mother. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. All right. So, guys, let's go over. Uh, we're going to... Um, these guys we talked about yesterday. Okay. Three word phrasal verbs. Okay. All right. By the way, guys, the thing that we have to know about this is this. Okay. They are always inseparable. Okay. Three word Phrasal verbs are always inseparable. So you cannot place the object in between, okay? All right, so guys, I'm gonna get you together in groups and I want you guys to solve the following examples. Okay, do my favor, guys. Take a screenshot and send it to the group. And let me know when you have. Did you take a screenshot? Yes. All right, great. Okay. Very good. All right. And uh, okay, take a screenshot of this too, guys. Let me know when you do. You good? All right. Pretty good. All right, guys. So um, let us go. Let's go. Think. Okay. Let's go, guys. The exercise? Yes. Yes, you have. Teacher, can you send the, the exercises to the group? Um, um, yes, I'm sorry. I thought that somebody did, but okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. You are welcome a lot. Thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Jason, Maybe it was what we have to complete with. Uh, so there, there are there are the um, right the words that you have to work with. Okay, so that's what you have to do. Okay, hold on. Okay. Right. Ah, complete the, the verb. Yeah, it says fill in the blanks with down, on, off, in, up, or out, okay? Ah, okay, okay. Ah, okay. Okay, Nuri, the first sentence, David, was what? Get on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the what? Get on. It on. You must make... Uh, you must make down. You you must make down on. You make make. Uh, you must make off. You make. So basically, you know, you're gonna put on. Look it up on Google, guys. Okay, right. Try to try to. That's the thing. Okay, so you can learn. I don't know expression. what is the complement to both. To to, to what? Compro. Where what? do you see that? What brought? What is the what's the meaning of that? It's the number I, one. In, in, in oh okay you're doing the last one okay you have, you have to do you have to do that is the ah okay i'm lost no that's the um, uh -huh. okay there are the okay the first one is you must take 
take your mind soon. Ah, ok, ok. Make. Ay, no me acuerdo, teacher. All right. Make. 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 I don't know, teacher. Makeup? No. Make down? What is the meaning? All right. Make Your down, mind. guys. I no, maybe that doesn't exist. Okay. Make up, no make up to that. No. Make up. <laughs> make, up make up, make up. Depending, mind. depending on the context, I you know it has different types of meaning. Okay. Okay. Make. Make up. Yes. Make up, maybe. Uh -huh. What's the meaning of make up? I I don't know the meaning of or what is the difference between. All those phrases. What's the meaning of make make up? No, no, make 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 up. Make up, make no, up. Make um, it, well, it depends on the context, right? So, uh, David, la, 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 turn. Which no. one are you doing? Oh, the first one. No, the first one. You must make. You must make up your mind. Make up your mind make is like up. to take a decision. Ah. Uh, yes. That's why you said uh, it depends of the context. <laughs> because I I I thought that only make up. No. All right. Okay. I teach it. Okay. Turn the radio. I want to hear the news. Turn off or turn down. Turn, turn down. Down. I finished turn down. Turn down. Turn down. All right, very good. Yes. Turn down. Okay. The third mm -hmm. drop anytime. You are always welcome. Okay. Drop in. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's the meaning. All right, so do my favor, guys. Uh, I need to check in the other rooms. I need okay. you guys to, all right, so I need you to Google, guys, okay? Just just do this, okay? If you know the meaning, guys, go like this, okay? Make up. All right, think? oh, does that make something? Okay, all right, so that's what I want you to do, okay? I'm gonna okay. check in the other rooms right now, okay? Okay. <laughs> What's up, guys? Did you finish them all? Almost. We are on the way around. They, they are like, they will repeat, right? Because they are not. Tell me. Okay, so the first one you must make out. Your mind soon, right? Okay. And then we have turn off the radio. I want to hear the news. Drop in in time. You're always welcome. I can take my eyes off that girl. He should only uh, show up dressed as cowboy. Turn on the lights. I can't see anything. I will not put on or put out, in this case, with your behavior any longer. Do not make out any more stories. No one will believe you anyway. Why did you turn on me offer, my offer? And put on your coat and let's get out. All right. Put on your coat, let's get out. Okay, very good, okay, you got it. All right, so we're gonna go back now, guys, okay? Okay, good. All right. So, uh, where's everybody else? Okay, hold on, they're coming.
Oh, it takes like 30 seconds for the other rooms to close, guys. All right, so uh, all right, so your sentences, guys, okay, are correct. Okay, we're just waiting for everybody else because I forgot to turn off the 10 second part, okay? The 30 second part. All right, so uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? All right, very good, guys. So, guys, uh, that's it, guys. Do you have any question? No, we're good. All right. Okay. So finish that, guys, because I know that some of you didn't finish. Okay. And uh, have a nice weekend, guys. And I'll see you on Monday. Take okay, care, guys. Bye, bye teacher. See you guys. Bye.